the person ultimately responsible for this is sitting in Broward County Jail. But everybody knows that Broward County lifted checkpoints and knocked down barriers that could have changed the outcome of February 14th. And I'm certain for the families that lost their children and their spouses. It's a daily struggle. They are not the people they were before February 14th. And I dropped my children off that morning. I told them I loved them and I went to pick them up. My son is Nicholas Dwaret. He was killed in the third room. My other son is Alexander Dwaret. He was in the first room. He was injured. He saw children killed and he lost his brother. This is a life sentence for me. It's every day. It's 14 months. I want accountability. I'm not going away. I'm in for the long haul. It's not, this is not normal. This is not right. There were failures. I want to be in court. I want to see who, what, when, where, how, why. What we've learned is that the massacre that happened at Parkland isn't something that simply happened. It is the result of rampant failures on the part of the people that have a duty and responsibility to keep our children safe. The local governmental agencies and the legislature have every opportunity to step in and say, you know what, we made a mistake, we want to do right, we want to take care of you all, and they can create a fund to compensate the families. It's as simple as that. And we have been told that the local governmental agencies were in favor of that because they didn't want to go to court. But we, what we have now learned is that they are hiring lobbyists behind the scenes to actually defeat this proposal. So it's my understanding that the, the governor and most of the legislators are in favor of getting this resolution. But the local governmental agencies, the school board, the sheriff's office are opposing it. So that's why we had the file suit. All, can you, all podium questions that you may have to clear anything up that you don't have?